headquarters looking for you. Planning evacuation drills too. We need to start running those. Good idea. I know I'll need a refresher. Just a tip. If you need to evac in deep space, you're probably not coming back. Only if you don't know the drill. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Oops. Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. 
Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow. You fight side by side, and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. It sucks, but it happened. We need your mind on the mission. Always is. But I'm human, too. Need time to find a way through. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses, too. Hi there. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. The Initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? Buy. Legally and above board, of course. 
Yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no. I'm not falling for that again. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass defeat initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. 
I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Head for the Nexus, Pathfinder. The Dromos will have more going on. Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the Remnant. I'll hear a stupider idea today, but that's a front-runner. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The datapad mentioned Medbay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Already getting requests from the Pedromos labs. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. Still think you'd be better off with soldiers at your outpost. August said you might swing by. Raiden, yes? Dr. Ramirez. Run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? 
What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonists. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the Initiative, he suggested I consider it. This seemed like a better frontier. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. The sand may be from several locations. I need more data to form a conclusion. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait, oh shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Fox, chief engineer for Padromos. Anything you need, ask away. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed, hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering, boring stuff unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnants are a wild card, but Bradley says you have them covered. It'll take work, no question, but I think EOS is really going to be something. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. Bye, Fox. Have a good one. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. 
Here, Axel Jennings. Assigned to set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Only one location matches the sound from the medical equipment. A monolith. Let's go. Hi. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. No sign of that work crew, but someone left their gear behind. Lexi. Found another colonist. So many. All right, send me their information. We're so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We. Oh no. No! The remnant aren't all bots and maybe blue sky. channel easy money once the electrical charge builds up we'll have ourselves some nice obedient remnant you better be sure this time jennings if you're that spooked go hide behind the four giants i'm busy damn it we've got to find them before they get themselves killed <laughs> radiation levels increasing Ahead. Tough to get used to life on this rock. Too long staring at it from the Nexus and knowing we'd failed. A hard world, but you can get used to anything if you try. Simple way to know you did good. More people walking than buried. Activating automated forward station deployment. I like hoodoos. 
play it right, you could trick a thresher right into one. Squish. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Help us! Please! Great timing. Thanks for the assist. Your experiment with the Remnant didn't work out. Huh. Okay, who squealed? Gasparic? Yeah, I bet. These Remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the Ket. You control them, why shouldn't we? I have a super intelligent AI, and enough experience with the Remnant to be careful. Jennings, this isn't working. We tried. <sighs> Fine. You can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. Life support failing. Seek safety immediately. Life support failing. Seek safety immediately.
Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. So wait, you're Kesha's father? Grandfather, actually. she tell you about me? Not exactly. She did used to swear up and down about a stubborn old fossil, usually while hitting something. Stubborn old fossil, hmm. She's called me worse on a good day. Resonating now, probably with the vault. Pathfinder, I detect initiative equipment nearby. Sam, this one mentions a nav point. I've extracted the information and added it to your map. Then we know where the researcher was headed. Let's go. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
Not where I'd want to stake a claim, but some will be all too eager. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Well, hello, bugs. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Karkin's gotta eat. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece. Chief Reynolds helmet. The search continues. Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. It's a carcan nest, all right. Fan out. I am invincible. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to security chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, I can exhume its data. Accessing data. The chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. That's it, Dilkin didn't shoot Reynolds. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man.
All we could do is watch it happen. Hard lessons we can't forget. First steps mark the brave and dead. Old Krogan saying. Radiation levels normal. 